set up the uh, the captain's gonna speak. Uh, this is the captain about to give a brief statement about what happened on the scene of Kawakawa and Kwaikiki. About two o'clock, uh, we were alerted of a suspicious package. It turned out to be a backpack. Um, circumstances um, made us believe that it possibly was an explosive device because of the way the person was uh, behaving. So what we did was we blocked off the area, we evacuated the people, um, we called in our SSD bomb team, and they actually had a robot that went and took a photograph of the bag, and um, they saw that it wasn't possibly nothing. So they went over and opened it up with their bomb suit, and. Um, basically just a bunch of junk inside there. Okay. So we arrested one uh, male, 29 years old, uh, just because of the behavior and what he did. It was really suspicious. It wasn't a mistake. He actually intended to scare people. So we arrested him for terroristic threatening in the second degree. What exactly did he do to uh, scare people? Well, it's just his behavior. I don't want to really el elaborate on that, but we had multiple witnesses that described exactly what he did. So it looked alarming to us when we looked at him. We also have a video of that we're going to um, Further Absolutely, you know, we, in light of what's happening on the mainland in Boston and Waco and other areas, we're on high alert. I mean, if something goes, we, we're treating everything like it's real, and we need to because we never know when it, when it may be real or it's not real. We uh, rather err on the side of safety than disaster. Is this the protocol you would have taken had the bombing been bombed? Yes, but in, in Boston, the bombs actually went off, so it'd be a little bit different. People would push people more back, you know, like right there. Waikiki is such a condensed area, and there's so much people that um, we have to work around with our circumstances here. Could you talk about the evacuations that happened? Well, we have a procedure that we need to evacuate the people X amount of feet. So that's what we did. We locked down all the streets, we locked down the shopping center, evacuated all the businesses, and we waited until our bomb. Can you tell us where, uh, what the um, arrested person looked like? Was it male, female, what age? Yeah, what a 29 year old male. That's all I can give right now at this point. Does he have any outstanding warrants? No, no warrants, no warrants, no warrants. Is he from here? We've been having several scares in the past couple of days. So. Is he from here? Because there's some people who are just trying to come well, you never know, yeah. You never know when it's going to be real or when it's not real. And we cannot, you know, make a, you know, make an assumption that it's only a hoax. You know what I mean? So we take this serious. What's going to happen to the bag? Well, we're recovering it as evidence. Everyone submit it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Any, Thank you. Could you elaborate on the junk like happened or like man was arrested? I'll just say personal items old. in the bag. Because he was acting personal suspiciously. Items. Yeah. And that's why we have the X-ray machine because we can actually see that it's the wires and what's the smoke is going on. Whereabouts in the center did this take place? Whereabouts in Hawaii in in um, in the Royal Hawaiian Center? Right there, right in front of Cardi Gates. Oh, on the pavement. Yes, right there. Yeah, right there. So that's why we have to block off this whole street because we couldn't take a chance of thing going off and hurting people. Yeah. No, yeah, we're opening up. Yeah, okay. so I mean, it's a necessary evil that we have to take. So anyway, thank you guys. Thank for you so up. much. Okay. Thank, thank you. Guys. Okay, thank you guys very much.